Hi guys, thank you for joining me. My name is Jose, and today's activity was inspired by the book Swimming. So stay with me, and I'm gonna show you step by step how to make your very own Papa fishbowl using construction paper. And by the end of the project, you'll have something that you'll be proud to display at home. All right, so we're ready to go ahead and get started with our project. This is what we're working on. We're gonna be making a fishbowl that looks something like this. Here I have all the supplies we're gonna be needing, which are construction paper, scissors, glue, and a pencil. The first thing I want you guys to do is you're gonna choose a piece of construction paper, any color that you want. I'm gonna go ahead and go with blue, just because it reminds me of water, but you can feel free to use any color that you like. So go ahead and lay your paper flat on the table like this horizontally. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. I'm gonna try to fold it as even as possible. There you go. So again, the first step is to grab our piece of construction paper, any color we like, and then we fold it in half. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pencil. And this is what I want you guys to do. We're gonna go ahead and draw an outline here that's gonna be in order for us to get the design of our fishbowl. So this outline right here, this is what we're gonna draw. And I like to start by drawing the number three. So here on the top, I'm gonna start right on the edge where I have the line right there. I'm gonna draw the number three. And we wanna do it kind of big, so don't do it too small. There you go. So you see, it looks like the number three. Let me put it a little closer so you guys can see it. So that's the very first thing we're gonna do. Then over here on the bottom, we're gonna we have our number three over here. Now we're gonna go all the way to the bottom and we're going to draw just a little curved line right here. Doesn't have to be exactly like this, but just try to make it similar to mine. Okay, so we have our number three and then we have our curved line right here. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to combine or unite this little line right here to here. And we're gonna do that by making a curved line like this. All right. There you go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just try to do it as close as possible. Let me bring it closer so you guys can see it. So once again, we started with the number three right here. Then we did our little curved line on the bottom and then we connected them with a big curved line. So now we have the outline. So what we wanna do next is we wanna cut it. Okay, so we're folding it in half. That way whenever we cut, we're gonna be cutting them both at the same time. So whatever we cut on one side is gonna be on the other side as well. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we already cut the extra side that we didn't need and we have the shape of the fishbowl. So now we're gonna put it to the side while we work on our little fish and our decoration. So what I want you to do is choose another piece of construction paper, any color that you like. I went ahead and went with orange just cause I like the color. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half. So just go ahead and fold it in half like this. And then this half, we're gonna fold it in another half one more time. So let's fold it in half again. All right. So I'm gonna show you an easy way of making our little fish. So we're gonna draw them first before we cut it. So what I want you guys to do is we're gonna draw the letter V like this, V is in Victor. So let's go ahead and draw it right here. All right, so you have that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little line, horizontal line right here, and another one on this side. Okay, so this is what we should have so far. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little curved line right here, and the same thing on the other side. Okay, so this is what it should look like. It almost looks like an arrow right now. So now I'm gonna draw the little tail by doing this line like this and another curved line on the opposite side. 
but this is what it looks like right now. And then we're gonna close it. We're gonna connect them by doing a little curved line right here. And there you have your very own little fish. So now all we have to do, we have the outline, we're gonna go ahead and cut it. And since we folded our paper in four, whenever we cut it, we're gonna get four fish. All right, so now we have our four little fish. Now we're gonna put them to the side and we're going to continue working on our little decorations. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little rock and some little plant. So for the rock, again, you're gonna choose any color of paper that you like. I'm gonna go with red. I'm gonna fold it in half. So this time we're doing the little rock and we're gonna put it on our fish tank. That's gonna help us to make it look pretty. So we folded our paper in half. We're gonna cut it. Right, so we cut the paper and then we're gonna fold it in half one more time. Okay, so we started with a whole sheet of construction paper. We fold it in half, we cut it, and then we're folding it in half again. So I'm gonna use my pencil to draw an outline. And this is what I want you to do. This is gonna be very, very easy, very simple. So I'm gonna start about right here and I'm gonna end right there. So you can go ahead and make the lines if it helps you, You don't the little dots. You don't have to, but if it helps you, you can do it. And then all I have to do is just do a little a wavy line going down like this. And it doesn't have to be exactly like mine, but just something similar to this. All right, so we have that. So now all we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut it. All right, so now we have our little rock. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to be making our little plant. So for that, I'm gonna use green, but again, you can feel free to use any color that you like, but I have some green right here. All right, so once again, I'm gonna fold my paper in half. I'm gonna cut it. That way I only use whatever I need and I'm gonna save this for another project later on. Okay, so I have my paper. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half again. So once again, remember we started with a whole sheet of construction paper, we folded it in half, we cut it, and now we're gonna fold it in half again. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw it. I'm gonna start right here. And it's just gonna be just a simple design. Nothing too fancy. And there you go. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You can make it different if you want, but this is something uh, pretty basic. So now all we have to do is cut it. So there you have it guys. Now we have our little plant. So we're pretty much done cutting all our shapes. So we have everything ready. We have our fish bowl. We have our little plant, our little rock, and our little fish. The next step is gonna be to put it together. So for that, we're gonna be needing some glue. So I have it right here. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and start putting our little fish bowl together. Okay, so I have my rock, my plant and my fish bowl. So this is, we want it to stand. So I'm gonna fold it, leave it right there. So I'm gonna start by gluing my little plant. So this is what I want you guys to do. We're gonna make sure it's folded like this. Right there. And then we're going to fold this leaf on the side. This little piece right here, we're gonna fold it like this. And this is what we're gonna attach to the bowl. So it should look like this when you open it. Okay, like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my glue. And this is where I'm gonna put the, plate, the pieces that we folded, that's where we're gonna put the glue. So let's go ahead and do that right now. 
Make sure you put enough glue so it stays. And there you go. So I'm gonna grab him like this. And I don't wanna lay, lay, it completely, lay my fishbowl completely flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue it right here. Right there. There you go. So this is what it should look like right now. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my little rock. And I'm gonna do the same thing again. Fold it in half. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold the edges. Just the tips right there. Like this. Go ahead and flip it to the other side. So it should look like this when you open it. And again, I'm gonna, I am gonna. only put glue on the edges right there. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put enough glue so it stays. Okay, more glue right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and attach it. Right there. And that's gonna help it stand, up, stand also like this. So this is what we should have so far. We're almost done now. All we have to do is glue our little fish and you can have fun and put them wherever you like. I made four of them. You can make more if you want and you can also make them in different colors if you like. So I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing them. Put some glue on the back. I'm gonna put one over here on the top facing up. Okay, now I'm gonna do one on the opposite side. Putting some glue on it. Right there. There you go. And now I'm gonna do one more, maybe right there by the rock. Put some glue. Right there. You can put them wherever, remember you can put it wherever you want. And my last one. I think it'll look good. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it right. I'm not sure about this one over here. I think I'm, I'm gonna put it right there. Right there. All right. So now we have our very own pop up fishbowl. All right, you did it. Now you have your very own pop-up fishbowl. You should be very proud of yourself. You made a beautiful piece of art. Now feel free to take some pictures with it, take some selfies and show it off on social media so everybody can see the beautiful art that you made. And if you like, feel free to send me some pictures that way I can display them for you as well. Thank you.